Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy, Nerd Mode On, and I'll be doing a gameplay commentary over some Call of Duty Ghosts. In this particular episode, I'll be talking with you guys a little bit about my current prestige and or level, but as well as I kind of want to go over a little bit of how you guys prestige if you haven't figured it out yet. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. So, as I'm sure many of you guys are familiar with the prestiging system of Call of Duty Ghosts, it is a little different in comparison to previous Call of Duties. But with that said, I'm sure many of you guys are coming to the next generation of consoles and you would probably want to kind of know what's going on, just in case you haven't already picked it up for the current gen or last gen, depending on how you want to look at it. So with that in mind, guys, let's quickly go over a little bit of the information when it comes to prestiging. So you have 10 characters. T each character represents one prestige in a sense. Now, of course, there is a level cap of 60 for each individual character. So with that said, your total potential level is level 600. So if you wanted to calculate those all together, you just take like 60 cap times 10 prestigious for each guy. Well, when it comes down to it, you quickly find out that the maximum level is on comparison when it comes to previous Call of Duties. It's a little higher than some, and it's a little lower than others, but the main gist of it is it's pretty standard. Now with leveling being a little slower than it is commonly, it is a little bit more of a longer experience. And I can definitely say that I don't personally enjoy that as much, but Maybe that's just because I'm ready for a new game to come out and something new to play. So, of course, my opinions are going to be a little bit misconstrued when it comes to that. But with that said, guys, that's pretty much how you prestige, just in case you were jumping into the next generation of consoles and you were a little unfamiliar with how this cycle went. Now, of course, with that all said, guys, let's quickly go over what I currently am when it comes to prestige and or the total level as of the moment. So I'm currently working on my second prestige and I'm level seven or so. Now, of course, I'd be a lot farther if I really put in a lot more time. The last three or four days, I quite frankly haven't played a lot. I played a few games two nights ago, but, you know, I only played the level 7. And before that, I just didn't have an interest in playing a whole lot of COD. And quite frankly with you guys, I'm just kind of wanting to move on to a future project. I had so many great ideas and aspirations to bring forward to you guys, but with a game kind of uh, taking up a majority of my time, I find those a little bit more difficult to press forward. Now, of course, excuses are excuses. I can sit here and tell you guys as I so wish of how I desire to bring forward the best content available followed by how my level would be so much more enhanced and higher. But when it comes down to it, as of the moment, I am only second prestige level seven. Now, of course, a main reason to kind of uh, sit back and relax, I guess, in my mind is that I have a lot of friends that have the capabilities of a hack lobby. Now, I know that's not something very intellectually inclined to bring forward. And in most cases, they come with severe repercussions. But I'm not going to lie to you guys. It has definitely been sitting in the back of my mind trying to hint at me about doing it. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm kind of taking up the possibility that that's something I might do. Now, I'm not sure yet, so don't take it as a grain of salt that I'm going to jump right into one of these bad boys, max out with a billion XP or some crazy stuff, because that's not going to be what I would do. I'm definitely a little bit more familiar with how people get reset, so I'm going to try to... Uh, definitely be careful if that's something that I do but who knows maybe I'll pick up interest in Call of Duty again and I'll just jump right in there and want to start prestiging but as for the moment I'm not really too interested when it comes down to the functionality of continually leveling up but who knows that might change so just kind of have that in the back of your mind if you see me go from level 2 or level 7 uh, second prestige all the way up to 10th just uh, take that with a grain of salt but I don't know. It's something that's just kind of sitting in the back of my mind. So when it comes down to it, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. And let me know if you guys have any other things that you guys would like me to cover for Call of Duty. I have all kind of different ideas, but I look forward to seeing what you guys will have to say. So this has been NMO, and I'm going to be signing out, guys. Peace.